So now we will write a program which reads a positive integer value and shows its divisors. So we only have to show the divisors, so we are going to use printf. And we have some notes over here. Let n be our number. So we want to find the divisors of n. Let's say d is a divisor of n. So n divided by d gives us a remainder of division which is equal to 0. So for example, 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. And the remainder is equal to 0. So 2 is a divisor of 4. Also, n is a divisor of n. For example, 4 divided by 4 equals 1 and the remainder is 0. One more thing, the strict divisors of a number n are less than or equal to n over 2. The strict divisors are all the divisors without the number itself. So now we have all the information in order to solve this problem. So first of all, let's make our integer n initialize it to 0 and take it from the user. Okay, now let's print the divisors of n r and let's say over here we are going to find the divisors and print them. So as we know, all the divisors without n itself are less than or equal n over 2. So what we have to do is to go through all the numbers that are less than or equal to n over 2. And whenever we find a number that satisfies this condition, we will print it. Perfect. So let's start for int i equals 1. As we know, we will start from 1, not from 0, because we cannot divide by 0. And we also know that 1 is a divisor for all numbers. So we can start from 2 and print 1 over here. So let's say print f 1. Okay, so this loop will run from 2. And as we said, we have to check until n over 2. So i is less than or equal n over 2. And then we will increment i. So now we have to check for our condition. So if n divided by this i gives us a reminder which is equal to 0. So we will use the modulo so n modulo i is equal to 0, then i is a divisor of n. So over here, we will print i. So i is an integer, and we will print it. Let me add a space over here. Okay. Now, one thing more to do outside the loop, we still need to print n itself, because as we said, n is a divisor of n. So if the question is to find the strict divisors, the code that we want is this one only. But since we want all the divisors, we still need to print n. And over here, let me also print n. So percent %d, and let's print n over here. And let's also display a message over here. So enter your number. Okay. Let's build and run this. Enter your number. Let's say I want the divisors of 20. Press enter. And we get the divisors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. And this is correct. Perfect, let's do another example. So let's say I want the divisors of 15 and we have 1, 3, 5, and 15. Perfect, let's try a prime number and a prime number is a number which has no other divisors than 1 and itself. So for example, 7 is a prime number and as you can see, the divisors of 7 are only 1 and 7. Perfect. I want to say one thing, it's not necessary to print 1 over here. We can start the loop starting from 1 and we will get the same result. But since we know that 1 divides every other number, then we don't have to check that 1 is a divisor. And this is why we started from 2 and we printed 1 over here. And also, this loop could work up until n. Then we should not print this statement over here. But then we will waste so many time testing if the numbers that are greater than n over 2 are divisors. And we already know that they are not. So this is why n over 2 and we printed n over here. So I want to show you one more example. Let's suppose that we want the divisors of 1. So we get 1 and 1. This is okay, but in order to fix this, we can add an if statement over here and we can say if n is equal to 1, then we want to print f 1. Now we have two choices. We can put the code over here inside an else statement or we can end our program over here. So we can say return 0. And all this code over here will not be executed. As I said before, whenever the return statement is executed, we will get out of the function. So this basically will get us out of the main function, which means that it will end our program. So let's run this program. Let's enter 1, and we get 1, and the program is finished. And this is another solution. So if it is equal to 1, we will print 1. And if it is not, we will execute the code over here. 
which is the same code as before and then we will return zero so let's build and run let's say one we get one another example 15 we get the correct answer so i will see you on the next exercise